Hey there, welcome to my channel. I usually post videos related to piano playing, tips, tutorials, things like that. Today I'm going to post something a little bit different. Um, I bought a Blue Yeti microphone. This video here is going to talk about some trouble that I had configuring it in Windows 10. I had a lot of issues getting it to recognize it. I had really crappy uh, sound levels and I couldn't monitor the uh, audio uh, from directly from the microphone using the headphone jack on the bottom and um, I fixed all those issues and I'm gonna show you how and I hope it helps you out uh, I got my Blue Yeti on eBay for $28 including shipping they usually go for over a hundred bucks uh, the one I got had a broken USB jack and I was able to fix it and get it working so I'm gonna make another video on that soon if you're interested check back um, but here we go with some uh, tips on what I discovered Okay, so I had a lot of difficulty getting Windows to recognize the microphone, and I thought um, it wasn't working properly because it wasn't showing up as a Blue Yeti in Device Manager, and um, here's what I found. So Blue Yeti, there's, there's two different versions. There's uh, the regular Blue Yeti, which is what I have, and the Blue Yeti Pro, which is a lot more money. It's about, I think, $250 or so. Um, and if you're not sure which one you have, the Blue Yeti Pro on the bottom has an XLR jack, which is like a microphone jack. Um, so that's how you can tell them apart. Um, the Blue Yeti is supposed to be plug and play, so you don't need to install any drivers for it. It should just work with the default driver that gets installed by Windows. The Blue Yeti Pro has drivers, and I uh, got a little confused, and I tried to install those drivers, and I spent hours on this. Um, and finally got it working so here's what I did to get Windows uh, recognizing the mic so okay so if you bring up devices devices and printers this is my Blue Yeti right here and this is how Windows 10 will detect it if it hopefully detects it I don't know why it says USB advanced audio device that's kind of confusing it detects it and shows it as a speaker um, but if it shows up like this it should work for you but you might need to tweak some things so another way to get um, get to this device if you close this and you go over to the speaker icon and right click on it you can go to recording devices and you'll see I have another microphone here that is not the Blue Yeti and it's set to the default so with it set like this the Blue Yeti won't work so if you click on here and right click and click properties I'd recommend changing the name so you remember what it is Then just click OK. And with it selected, click Set Default. And now this will be the default microphone when it's plugged in for recording. Now, the Blue Yeti has a headphone jack on the bottom that you can use to monitor your audio while you're recording. And to make sure that works, you can go under Playback. And if you click on it and go to properties, you can rename it. And then this was a big problem for me here too. Under levels where it says microphone, by default it will be muted. And when it's muted you can't monitor any of the audio that's coming directly from the microphone and it took me a long time to figure this out um, but if you go into levels make sure you unmute this and I set the level to the same as the speakers so it matches any audio that's coming through from the computer click OK click set default and click OK 
One other big problem I was having with the microphone is that the audio was distorted. It was picking up too much. It was picking up uh, ambient room noise. It was picking up airplanes. I have the TV in the other room on and the door closed here, but it was picking up the TV even though it's very quiet. It was picking up everything and it sounded terrible. Um, and I found a fix for that. Um, here's what you do. So if you go back in, right click on recording devices. And if you click on under recording, click Blue Yeti microphone, click properties, and then click on levels. This right here on my computer defaulted to 82. If you lower it all the way to zero and click OK and then click OK, the audio quality is much better. You don't get nearly as much hum in the background. It doesn't pick up um, neighbors fighting a couple houses down the street like it used to. Um, it's a really big difference. I can uh, give you a comparison so you can you can see how very different the audio is. Okay, first, here's what it sounds like when it's set to the default, which was 82 on mine. Okay, so I'm testing here. You might be able to hear Wolf Blitzer in the background <laughs> in the other room talking about Hillary Clinton. Um, you might hear some planes going by overhead. In general, it just sounds really crappy. And I'm leaving big pauses here on purpose so you can see um, what the background noise sounds like in the room. Okay, now I'm going to change it to zero. I don't know why this works. You would think set to zero, it wouldn't even record. And here it is set to zero. Um, hopefully Wolf Blitzer has gone away. Hopefully you can't hear the neighbors doing whatever it is they're doing next door. Um, and it works much better like this. I have the gain set pretty low on the microphone. I didn't touch the settings on the microphone between these two examples. They're set just like this. And it works much better set to zero. So there you go. That's it. I hope that saves you some time. Maybe you won't be up until four in the morning like I was last night trying to fix this microphone. If you have any feedback or questions, please leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.